Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel High Mathematics and today we have a really interesting question from entrance examination 2 to the power x plus x equal to 5. And right now let's let's solve this challenge. First of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side. So what do we have right here? So we have right here 2 to the power x equal to 5 minus x. So we just bring in this x from our left to right. Right now let's change position. So 5 to the 5 minus x on the left side, 2 to the x on the right side, it changed nothing obviously because we have equal sign. Okay, so we have right here 5 minus x equal to 2 to the power x. Okay, right now let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay, let's do this. So let's divide our, our left side. So we have right here 5 minus x. We divide this thing by 2 to the power x. And we have the same thing on the right side. So 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x. Really great. Right now, this on the right side, uh, 2 to the x, 2 to the x gives us 1. So right here we have only, only 1. We divide all of the things that we have right here 1. And right now on the left side, what are we going to do? Let's bring this 2 to the x from our denominator to our numerator. But I hope you know this property if we have, for example, 1 over a to the power b. When we bring in this from, from denominator to numerator, we need to change a sign. So a to the power minus b, okay? And right now, let's so let's uh, do the thing according to this property. So we have as a result right here, we have 5 minus x inside parentheses times 2 to the power minus x, okay? 2 to the power minus x equal to, equal to 1. Okay, so we have right now this expression. I hope you understand this step. This is like basic, uh, basic step from here. This is very basic uh, property. So I hope you understand this step. Right now, let's change right here position. Okay, let's change position uh, minus x and 5. So let's write this minus x plus 5. Okay, so right here we have minus x plus 5. Yeah, and times 2 to the power minus x equal to 1. Okay, I hope you understand this uh, moment right here. We just change right here places. Minus x plus 5, 5 minus x. This is absolutely, absolutely the same thing. And right now, I hope you understand what I'm going to do because I want to apply a Lambert W function. This is all the thing is about Lambert W function, but maybe some students don't understand about this function. Let's take a look closely. I try to explain you this function in very simple words, so I hope you will understand my explanation. So, for example, imagine we have expression like a times e to the power a, something like that. a is whatever you want expression, so it doesn't matter what we have right here. For example, we have like 3 times e to the power 3. So, we have something like that. Doesn't matter. 3, sine, cosine, square root, maybe complicated expression, doesn't matter. And when we, maybe when we have this expression, we can apply Lambert W function from this expression. We can also apply this from here because, yeah, this is like a classic, classic rule, yeah, equal to... So in this case, this is equal to a. So this is basic, basic explanation about Lambert W function. But if you're talking about, for example, three times e to the power three, this is equal to this is equal to three. Like we have five times e to the power five, Lambert W function from this expression gives us gives us five. Okay. And right now, let's try to create this Lambert W function on the left side. This is a little bit complicated, but I hope you will understand my steps right here. I hope you will understand my explanation. So first of all, we have minus x plus 5. Let's try to create the same power right here. So somehow let's do this. First of all, let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 5. Okay, so we have right here minus x plus 5 times 2 to the power minus x. And we multiply left-hand side by 2 to the power 5. And our right side by 2 to the power 5. Right here we have 1, so as a result we have only 2 to the power 5. So we just multiplied both sides by this. 2 to the power 5. And right now, right here we have the same basis. So as a result, we, we have right here multiplication and we can add our powers. Okay, so let's do this right now. So right here, we have right here minus x plus 5 times 2 to the power minus x plus 5 minus x plus 5. Yeah, inside, inside parentheses, this is our power. And equal to 32. 32. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have minus x plus 5. We have minus x plus 5. And one part of students tell, okay, we have the same expression right here. We have the same expression right here. Basically, we have this case with the same expression right here and right here. But we have two. This is not our e. So let's create our e right here. So how can we do this? First of all, let's uh, write uh, e to the power natural log 2 equal to 2. Yeah, this is absolutely correct expression. So right now, instead of this 2, Instead of this 2 right here, let's plug in this e to the power natural log 2, okay? Let's do this. So right here we have minus x 
plus 5 times, instead of 2, we plug in e to the power natural log 2, so e to the power natural log 2, and we raise all of the thing by this, minus x plus 5, so minus x plus 5, and equal to 32. Great, really great. Right now, we can easily multiply all the natural log 2 by this parenthesis, by this expression, because we raise this, okay? We, this is our a to the power x raised to the power y, this is our a to the power x times y, so we can multiply our powers. Let's do this. So we have right here our minus x plus 5, yeah, inside parentheses in the beginning. The next thing we have times e to the power natural log 2 times minus x plus 5 and equal to 32. And right now, final moment right here. Let's look closely what do we have right here. Right here we have minus x plus 5, we have e, and we have minus x plus 5. Basically, everything is great, but this natural log 2, we don't need this natural log 2, basically, right here, to apply Lambert W function. But saying in other words, if you multiply both sides by natural log 2, let's do this, let's uh, just look at it. Really interesting moment right now. Uh, natural log 2 right here, multiplying both sides, natural log 2 by this expression on the left side, minus x plus 5, times e to the power natural log 2, times minus x plus 5, equal to 32 times natural log 2. So we just multiplied both sides by this natural log 2. It changed absolutely nothing, but in the same way on the left side, this is a really great moment right now, because we have natural log 2 times x minus x plus 5. We have right here, for example, this is our a. We have right here e. And we have right here natural log 2 minus, uh, minus x plus 5 right here. We have absolutely the same thing. So this is our this is our a. And right now we can easily apply Lambert W function from our expression on the left side. As I told before, a times e to the power a. And then we apply in Lambert W function, we have, as a result, we have our a. So right now let's apply Lambert W function from this left hand side. Let's do this. Okay, so we have here the long expression Lambert W function of this expression, natural log 2 minus x plus 5 right here times e to the power natural log 2 times minus x plus 5 and as a result equal to Lambert W function of of this expression 32 times natural log natural log 2. Really great and right now as I told before our Lambert W function of a times e to the power a and right here this is our a this is our a as well yeah and as a result this, this expression on the left side gives us only minus x plus 5 times natural log 2. Okay, so we have it here only, well, let's write it in this order, natural log 2. Okay, so natural log 2 times minus x minus x plus 5. Yes, and on the right side we have this Lambert W function of 32 times natural log 2. We have it here equal to Lambert W function of 32 natural log 2. This is a constant on the right side, so everything is great. You can also find this constant in internet libraries. And on the right side we have this expression. So as a result, uh, just take a look closely. Let's divide both sides by natural log 2. Let's do this. So right here we have minus x plus 5 equal to Lambert W function of 32 natural log 2 over natural log 2. Yeah, we just divide in both sides by this by this natural log 2 and our final step right here so we need to subtract this expression from this 5 as a result we have our our final answer right here we have right here minus x so if we bring this x minus x on the right side and bring the thing on the left side we have that our x equal to 5 minus Lambert W function of 32 natural log 2 all over natural log natural log 2 and this is our final answer. Maybe someone interested in, in approximately answer. I'm going to show this approximately answer here in just in just five seconds. This is our answer. If you sit in, for example, you know, on your exam, this is enough because this is the constant. This is a constant. So you like don't allow to use your calculator. So this is your final answer. But if you allow, you can also uh, look at your in internet libraries x approximately equal to 1.716. OK, x approximately equal to 716. And this is our answer. I know this is a little bit complicated question, but this is a great question to practice your Lambert W function right here because uh, this is not like a basic question. For example, maybe you see on, on my channel, I have two to the X equal to, to like a three uh, X to the third power, like something like that, like 
like a, a cross right here, yeah? And this is a completely different question, as you can see, 2 to the x plus 5 equal to 5, okay? Okay, this is a completely different question, and as you can see, completely different approach. But in the same way, I hope you understand my explanation, I hope you learned something new, you can also pause the video, you can also write your question, I try to help everyone in the comment section, I try to help everyone, uh, basically, yeah, I, I try to do my best to uh, to improve your, your math skills, and, and I think you, you enjoy it, I think you understand it, and also I want to say thank you for your support, it's extremely important for me when you leave a like, write any comment, doesn't matter, this is a great comment, if this is a, like a dislike and a bad comment, I really appreciate it as well, yeah, this is everything, is your response to my video, I try to make video every day, so we hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos.